what is up guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be finishing up our fire pit area i'm super excited to get this started we got to dig out this entire circle all the way around and clean out all the soil so that we can lay down our weed control fabric yes. our gravel and then also our liner. How far down do we have to dig? I think we gotta go down about two inches. We want about two inches of gravel. And then we talked to a friend, he's a civil engineer. He said, we don't really have to tamp it too much because it's already pretty compact. So that's sweet. That's gonna I save know. us oh a bunch of work later on. <laughs> yeah, and it's like such hard work. The tamping is like impossible. And then lastly, of course, hopefully in this video, we can do all of this landscaping and tear all this up and get it going for you guys. Yeah. my hands digging up all this grass i mean i know but we got to get to this edging already because the day is moving fast and yes. we need to get that done and also hopefully put down our weed control let's see if that even is uh well, if it. we dug down deep enough because we're supposed to dig down uh, almost I think we're almost <laughs> there like halfway so probably yeah. all around we gotta dig down it's like, it's like a five six be, inch border yeah i think it needs to be like four inches in so we gotta dig a little bit this side over here, actually, if we come over here, this is pretty much what it needs to be right there. Oh there yeah, go, right so that'll there. be right up to so, there and then we'll fill it back in. Yep, so we're using this heavy duty one because we used uh, another one for the front yard and it just, it, it's already like warping and it's not straight anymore and we spent all that time. So we're gonna try this one out and see how it goes next year. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Being able to sell a skill is a huge advantage today. That's where Skillshare comes in. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to learn new skills. Have a specific skill you're trying to learn? Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From video making for YouTube, gardening to graphic design, freelancing, and more classes you can find that will match your goals and interests. Interested in making a career pivot or up leveling your skills? in your current role? Skillshare is a great resource for freelancers and entrepreneurs to help learn new skills to support your growing side hustle or launch into a total new career with classes like How to Grow Sprouts and Microgreens by Christelle Christina, Easy Gardening with Raised Beds by Sunny Green, and Make Animated YouTube Videos by Evan Polly Matter. We were actually inspired to start this garden after watching How to Grow Herbs in Containers by Kelly Newberry. In it, we learned how 
how to plant and space out our herbs as well as prune them for a huge harvest. Skillshare is ad-free so you can stay in the zone while you're exploring new skills. New premium classes launch each week so there's always something new to discover. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box or my code will get one month free trial of Skillshare. done for today we worked so hard we got all this landscape fabric in and then we also got the border in finally and um it was kind of weird putting in uh, right I yeah it was a little, a little bit time. challenging for sure yeah. some of the stuff it didn't go right or it didn't feel like you could really go into the soil but yeah. we got it we got it done and it looks pretty nice it looks nice and round yeah. i think really okay. once we fill it with gravel that's what yeah. we're gonna know so, so hopefully. hopefully tomorrow we're gonna go to home depot get all of our um what do we need at Home Depot? I Probably need some topsoil just to oh, fill yeah, everything in topsoil. from this side. And then uh, we gotta rent a truck. Yes, we need to rent a truck and then get our, our pea gravel. So that's gonna be all tomorrow, hopefully, if weather permits. So we'll probably catch you guys tomorrow. the next day yeah so it's been about a day it's been raining it's been a little hot but yeah. now it's cooled down so we got a chance to do all of this gravel hopefully and we have we're gonna try to do it in 45 minutes because then the truck only costs us $20 that's awesome 20 bucks I mean that's like nothing we don't have to borrow it a truck from anybody <laughs> if we can do it otherwise we got to pay a little bit more but I don't think it's too bad either way yeah, 25 bucks that's like dirt cheap we got to do it but we're gonna get the gravel today um, we're gonna get some uh, cute bushes hopefully some really nice hydrangea bushes just to cover up a corner 
and then just get things rolling and get this uh, uh this pea gravel maybe we'll just break it in today and burn a little pre-bonfire tonight <laughs> yeah break it in <laughs> it's easier for it to root into the ground. So you just leave them in there, it takes a little while, but this just helps it to pull the roots out because they're all like matted in there. Right, so we had to do a little detour. We had to go get our brother-in-law's truck because all the trucks were out of, uh, like what is it, not out of stock. No, they were pretty much out of stock. Pretty much they out. said that people have been taking them yeah. all morning, every morning yeah. and just taking them all away. So there's no way that we can get a truck. So we had to go pick up his truck and now we got our gravel. I mean, do right now we're gonna unload it, start um, getting, our, getting our wheelbarrow and running over to our fire pit area. So, before it gets super hot, we gotta get going. truckload like this. No, we're not. Yeah, we will. No, we won't. I'm not doing this anymore. What do you mean you're not doing it? Dude, this is labor. They don't pay me enough for this.
still. Guys, we are all done with our fire pit little area. I mean, this was literally the toughest thing we did. Like, it was so hot. It was way hot. There was a heat advisory, and it was way harder. Actually, I'd say moving the rocks was easier than the garden. Yeah. Because the for the garden, they were on the ground. Yeah. And this time, I was up in the truck, and the cleanup was way easier, too, so because we easier. had the tarp. I mean, I guess I hoped it was a lot easier because we're so experienced with dragging the freaking stone. <laughs> well, we have one thing left, though actually one or two things we actually got to put in some furniture and then we're also going to put these pole lights yes. that you found that we we're probably going to have to do that next video though yeah, yeah no we can't do this today it's been way too hard we definitely have a few diy things we need to do and we'll pretty much see you guys at our next video we can't wait to catch up with you guys in the comment section and we'll see you guys at our next video